A procedure that's had success in freezing away cancer cells is showing promise in treating early stage breast cancer. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dador brings us one woman's story. And that's it. I'm walking away scot-free, hopefully. No surgery. In a short office visit, doctors froze and removed a small cancerous tumor from 65-year-old Ramona Eggenberger's left breast. <laughs> Better than the teeth cleaning. Completely different than when Ramona watched her husband go through surgery and chemo for lung cancer. If I'm alone, I'm a widow. I said, I can't, you know, be out of work and get sick and be, you know, through treatment. Some women simply don't want to have surgery. Dr. Dennis Holmes with the Carvajal Comprehensive Breast Center at Adventist Health Glendale is a pioneer in cryoablation to treat early stage breast cancer. It's done with a needle, ultrasound, and a local anesthetic. We ablate the tumor, which means we kill the tumor. We kill a rim of tissue around it, and all of that can be completed in a 30 to 45 minute procedure. The patient can drive in, drive herself home, and have a complete treatment of her breast cancer in that one visit. While some patients may still need chemo and radiation, Ramona did not require additional treatment. She posted a video shortly after her procedure six weeks ago. Six months from now, if everything's been done, so is my treatment. Dr. Holmes says cryoablation is routinely used in other cancers, such as cervical and prostate, but the procedure is still being studied in women with early stage breast cancer. We'll be leading a national clinical trial that's going to be opening later this year as, as a way of kind of moving this treatment forward. For now, insurance doesn't cover cryoablation. Ramona had to pay for her procedure out of pocket, a cost which runs about $10,000. She hopes someday cryoablation will be covered for women who are candidates. It, it breaks my heart that it's not out there all, to everyone and it, available. It's so quick and easy. In Glendale, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.